Um, okay, so here we're going to look at uh, more specifically how genes are, um, gene expression is regulated in eukaryotes. Now we have to remember that in eukaryotes, in humans for example, we have over 200 different types of cells and yet every single cell has the exact same genome or DNA. So in order for our cells to become different or cell differentiation, we have to be able to turn on and off genes so that each, job, each cell may be, may be specialized. So if we look here at, I know my picture's a little off and that's on purpose, but if we look here at our gene, um, we have something we've learned before that here we have our promoter, and our promoter is where RNA polymerase attaches, and then we have our Tata -ta box. Now thousands of nucleotides upstream and sometimes downstream of the gene, we have things called distal control elements. Now these distal control elements are just sequences of non-coding DNA. They don't code for any genes, but they exist. <laughs> now a group of them is called an enhancer. Now the job here of this enhancer, or group of distal control elements, is to help, um, help the binding of RNA polymerase. So here we have very specific transcription factors called activators. Now once the activators attach to the enhancer, it's actually going to cause the strand of DNA to bend. So then the strand of DNA will actually bend due to a DNA bending protein, as we can see here, and the activators will help to bring um, all of the proteins necessary for transcription, help bring them all together. So here we have a group of uh, mediator proteins, and then here we have our general transcription factors. Now once the activators, which are attached to our enhancer, are brought together with these general transcription factors and the group of proteins in purple there. Once they've all attached, um, we are able to have RNA polymerase attached to the promoter and start gene transcription. Now, which is not shown in my picture, which is possible, is sometimes there are things called repressors and repressors uh, would actually attach up here to the enhancer and block the activators from attaching. So we'd have a repressor that's like, nope, activators, you cannot attach. And therefore, gene expression would be inhibited or prevented. Um, sometimes, actually, there's actually um, repressors that... Uh, um, can either bind directly to their own enhancer or they can actually, I think, no, forget that. <laughs> okay, there you go.